The moon is a very important phenomenon in our solar system. Although it does not have the necessary prerequisites to support human habitation, the moon has a profound effect on all organisms on Earth. It keeps the functions of the Earth in balance. Apart from the obvious role of lighting up the Earth at night, the moon also stabilizes the Earth's rotation around the sun. Furthermore, the moon is responsible for tides in water bodies. Now, imagine if we had two. What would be the probable outcome of having two moons working side by side with each other, as they do in other planets? Will the Earth run smoothly as it does now, or would there be complications? To answer these questions, we have to make several assumptions. First, we will assume that both moons have the same gravitational strength. Secondly, they are both the same size. Lastly, they are both located on the same side of the Earth. Deviating from these assumptions would complicate issues. With two moons, there would be twice as much moonlight during the night, assuming that they are positioned differently. Then, they will probably rise and set at different times. This will stretch the period of moonlight, and the time of complete darkness will be reduced significantly. Furthermore, there would be a shift in behavior of nighttime creatures. The excessive light would make it easier for nocturnal predators to spot their preys. This will lead to ecological imbalance in favor of nocturnal predators and at the expense of preys. Secondly, there would be double tidal friction. Tidal friction occurs when Earth's rotation is slowed down by the moon's gravitational pull. With each moon exerting its own gravitational pull on Earth, the tidal friction would extend over longer periods of time. This would result in longer seasons and annual climatic changes across the globe. It would therefore be impossible to keep track of seasons which means we cannot plant or harvest due to the uncertain nature of the climate. The cycle of seasons is essential for human survival, as it enables us to plan. The concept of regular months would be useless. Instead, we would have irregular periods of longer and shorter months that would be hard to keep track of. Moreover, there would be chaotic tides. Ocean tides occur due to the moon's gravity on the Earth. Double that gravity force and the tides will be skyrocketing into the sky. Chaotic tides will eat away shorelines, including buildings near it. To put it simply, cities located on the sea lines such as New York, San Francisco, and London will be completely wiped off the Earth. In fact, most of continental lands will be submerged in water. Therefore, a small portion of land will be available for inhabitation. Another devastating outcome is that there would be a series of natural disasters. Constant tugging from both moons would result in tsunamis, volcanoes, and earthquakes that would result in mass extinction. The resultant chemicals and ash would render this planet inhabitable. There is also the possibility of the two moons colliding apart from massive chunks of debris falling on Earth if this were to occur. Humans would freeze to death, just like the dinosaurs of years ago. With no moon to help it rotate, there would be no distribution of heat on the planet. If by some miracle we are able to overcome all these disasters, then we may be witness to a myriad of eclipses. The eclipses will vary due to the position of the moons, but their number will double. If the moons are located fairly near to each other, then we would witness double the solar eclipses. We would, however, witness partial eclipses if the new moon were to be smaller or far beyond the current moon. Two moons hovering above this planet can best be described by the game Tug of Wars. Both opponents pulling each other with equal might. The end result is that the rope will give in and tear apart. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, comment, and share with your friends.